Hey guys, so I know that it's been a hot second since I've recorded anything. Life just got really crazy and I had to deal with all of that. But that being said, for the whole month of June, I'm really excited because I've teamed up and worked with some really, really great women. And every Wednesday, we're gonna have something called Women Crushing It Wednesday. And it's just an interview, sit down with some women that are really just crushing it all around. They are very inspirational. Um, they motivate you. They're really just genuinely good people and they're killing it in their career fields. So that being said, this week I had Maddie Sky. I love her. Um, we've been friends on Instagram now for so long. I met her in person once and I was just like, she's such a good person. So here's a little bit of our interview. It's kind of choppy in bits and places because we had some issues with Zoom. It was my first time using Zoom, like with me being the curator of it. So my camera cut out, my kid was crying. My life is a hot mess. It's fine. Um, so yes, yeah, so like I was saying, here's the interview with Maddie. So okay. This is Maddie Sky, Madeline Mendoza, Maddie Sky Mendoza, aka I always call you the Carrie Bradshaw of San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I love that. You've been you've told your story multiple times on your social media platforms, but I just want you to go ahead and uh, talk about it here. Yeah, so I got started in journalism. Um, I always say back in like uh, 2014, obviously when I graduated, but I always forget that I actually started like in high school um, with like TV uh, or like student broadcasting network. And then I did like, I was actually working with the Express News when I was like 15. They had like a teen team oh, type of cool. situation would write for um, newspapers. So I started back then. And, uh, but I mean, I'm from the South side of San Antonio. I didn't grow up with any special privileges or anything like that. We're from a working class, working class family, my single mom. Um, it was me, my mom, my brother, and having education was our, our top priority. Um, going to college was never a question or whether or not we were going to go. It was like, you, you were either going to go to college or to the service. You were going to become something because she was working so hard. So, but yeah, I've always been a good student. I think I'm a lifelong learner. And I think that works perfectly with my career field because I'm constantly lear learning something new or, or speaking to somebody different. Um, so yeah, so I started in college or high school and then into college, I did broadcasting and internships. And so yeah, now I'm at the Express News and I've been there for five years, five and a half years. So, um, like I was mentioning before, having family and friends that keep you grounded is a really big part of the staying humble thing. And there have been times where I do end up in situations where I don't, and it sounds silly to say because I really don't think that I'm somebody famous, but <laughs> it's, and it's not so much that I'm famous, it's that our world and our peers are so obsessed with like social media following. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard sometimes because I think I'll find a friend. I'm like, oh, you know, it's nice to have a new girlfriend because I'm the more the merrier type. But then you start realizing that people just want to kind of be in and around to see what kind of benefits they can get. Yeah. Um, like my friend. And that's kind of one of those, those um, pros and cons of it all. Um, because I really don't know now what people who's your real friend who's, yeah. Yeah. that goes as far as like dating wise too you know well can she get me tickets to a Spurs game or can she do this or can she do that um and you know it's it's not it doesn't work like that it never works I'm a trial and error honestly and uh it's trial and error and with that a lot of confusion and frustration and um you know, just being upset with people, but I've, I'm yeah. starting to be a little cautious now. Um, yeah. Starting with uh, just basically you can tell people are like, what's in it for me? You know, where are we going this weekend? Or um, are you going to this event? Are you going to that event? And that kind of, those are the big indicators. That it's like, eh, yeah. I don't know about this. Yeah. So yeah. it's hard sometimes because the beginning, it, it's what it's different levels bring different demons, I guess, is the, is the quote. Again, I'm quoting something without getting it completely right. But <laughs> at the beginning, it was just very comical, people just being negative. And I was, it was easy to clap back at them because it would make it so, so easy. You know, their jokes were terrible and I would clap back at them. But what people don't know is that I do mute a lot of people. I mute a lot of people on Twitter because some of the things that they say that the thing that I see that I just don't respond to at all. Mm -hmm. because it's so vile. Um, they'll attack everything. They'll attack my family. 
they will attack my physical appearance and I don't even, I don't respond to those ones at all. Right. I just hit them with the block button and they'll even make other accounts to get their point across once they found out that I blocked them. Ridiculous. And my biggest advice is if you want to, if you want to, you know, make it, make them, if there's, a, if there's a joke, then I'll usually make the joke back or troll them back but make very good use of the mute and the block button. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time that just makes them more upset, but at least you don't have to deal with it. Right. Um, I'm learning more and more that you can't argue with stupidity. Um, there's, the people are set in their ways. They're not 13, they're not 12. Mm -hmm. They're not elementary school bullies. Like these are just people who are born to be bullies and there's nothing that you're gonna say or do to fix that. Right. Or they're proud, they're proud of what they're doing. Right. So just take the, take the upper hand or what what is it the high road the high road take the high road the cheek. <laughs> yeah muse you use the mute button and the block button um that's what I'm learning to do because it, it there I'm not gonna lie there's times where it does kind of sting a little bit I'm human um and some of those comments I do carry with me from you know even when I'm away from the computer but you can't help what people are gonna say people and you, you kind of feel sorry for them that they have to release their anger to somebody on the internet that they've never even come in contact with. Right. Yeah. So. Well, I'm so glad that you made the time to sit with yeah. me. I'm so excited. Um, I think that your story is really going to resonate with other girls that were like you growing up, you know. Um, like I said, I, I love your story. You've told it like a thousand times. It's just amazing. <laughs> Do you mind if I share your, um, like your social media on here yeah, so sure. and stuff? Okay. For sure. um, go ahead and tell us also um, about your ESPN show, what days they can listen to you. Oh, on yeah. So uh, I have an ESPN San Antonio show. It's a San Antonio affiliate of, of course, ESPN. And it's a radio show that airs on 4 at 4.30 on Wednesdays. And you can listen to it if you're in San Antonio on the dial at 94.5 FM. And you can listen anywhere at ESPN San Ant ESPNSA.com. So and there we talk about pretty much my daily life and <laughs> my news stories from that week. So yeah, it's a pretty cool show. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Maddie. You. So that is it from Maddie's interview. I'm going to also link her Instagram page down below. If you guys aren't already following her, make sure you go follow her because she's awesome. And her feed is just phenomenal, like aesthetically so good. Her message is always on point and she always has the like funniest witty little captions. They make me laugh. But um, so yeah, guys, go check her out and Make sure you guys are on the lookout for next week. I have Michaela Petty. She is a U.S. Air Force vet and a new mom, and she's just killing it, and she has such a good mentality when it comes to body positivity. So make sure you guys are on the lookout next Wednesday for that. All right, bye, guys. Spending like we got them ends, this is that conclusion. You should bring your friend again, I find that shit amusing.